Hello, I'm David Lewis Anderson, and I will be speaking about time control science at the upcoming Pythagoras Conference. For millennia, across science, philosophy, spirituality, and human consciousness, a true definition of time has remained elusive. But in the last decade, we've seen an unprecedented acquisition of new knowledge and insight into the true nature of time. Nations are now racing, launching large-scale time technology development programs. Scientists in the middle of this research are now concerned that the technological capabilities of time control have already exceeded our human ability for moral and ethical reasoning. Of course, there are many ways that time control technology could be used to help alleviate suffering, especially in the physical realm on this planet. It could also help every person better understand their connection to time, space, and the universe. But there is much more at stake. We must consider what is the impact of sending or receiving information and matter forward and backwards in time? Should history become an experimental science? Who should have access to this technology and how should it be used? The answers relate not just to human beings, but the entire planet and ecosystem of which we are all a part. The issue is no longer whether we should or should not acquire time control technology and explore its potentials. It's too late. Rather, the issue is now how to use this new knowledge and power in the most expedient and ethically responsible manner. For the first time in history, our very survival demands that we begin to consider ethical responsibility, not just in the application of science, but in the direction of research and development of new realities and time control technology as well. Over the course of three lectures, we are going to take a deep and detailed look into this new knowledge, including the present state of time research from all around the planet and what needs to be done to ensure it is used to benefit human society. In our journey at the Pythagoras Conference, you receive information on this subject being presented to the public for the very first time. If you are looking for answers to questions about the true nature of time, answers that just might shock you, you will find them here. Here is just a partial list of some of the other questions that we will answer and explore together. Thank you. 